I'm coming at you from my bed this morning. Uh, it is about quarter past nine. And the boys are up watching the football probably for the last like a couple of hours. They are non-stop shouting at the TV. Um, so I apologise if you hear that. Um, obviously I won't take you in there because some of their language is quite offensive when it comes to football. Um, but yeah. We're just gonna chill this morning. Um, but I thought I would come on here and introduce today's vlog. Um, so a little book update. I've finished two books so far. The first one I read mostly like on the planes. Um, and that is the shop on Blossom Street. Again, as good as the second one. Yeah, I really enjoyed that, so I finished that. And then I read. I'm gonna do like a proper like book video, like review of these all. Um, but I thought I'd just give you a quick little update. And then I also finished the Lost Art of Letter Writing, which was quite different to what I expected. Um, there seems to be there's about three separate storylines running through this um i'd say it more as like two major storylines running through this and i just felt like they weren't supposed to be in the same book together like they were good concepts but they just didn't intertwine enough to make it seem like they should be in the same book if you get what i mean um so it's slightly on the fence about this book um, I don't think I've yet rated it on Goodreads because I'm still trying to like process what I thought of it. One half of the book I really enjoyed and the other half I just didn't feel it went with the rest of the book so yeah. That's that. And then I think next I'm going to read um, Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty um, just to have something really to sink my teeth into. Um, but yeah I'm going to go get breakfast, probably something quite unhealthy as I always do, probably a cupcake when we're out here um, and then I'll take you outside to show you a bit outside because I've not shown you too too much outside but yeah I will show you my outfit because this is my like <laughs> wedding pyjamas <laughs> so excuse in the messy room but yeah these are my pyjamas that I got from ASOS I don't know if they still have them um, they have a version of them, um, it just says just married, and these little, and these little heart shots, and on the back, you probably can't see, but there's like a heart cut out, um, and then I've just got my Victoria's Secret Barlet under it, so yeah, I'm going to go for breakfast and start the day. So this is my breakfast area, this is where I tend to sit, under the shade all the time, so this is the book I'm going to start reading. This is my breakfast, how healthy, and then this is my drink. I love these drinks, I only have them when I'm out here. And this is the pool. It's quite, even though there's no clouds, it's a bit cooler today, I think, because we had so much rain yesterday. But I will show you. We have a lake back here. And there's quite a few alligators in there. We saw one the other day which you would have seen in the vlog but they do tend to take the big ones out so yeah there's mum and there's our blue tarpooling we had some slates come off our roofs from Hurricane Irma and that's sort of what we need so it's encroaching a little bit on our sun but it's definitely cooler today so yeah I'm just going to enjoy this is my new pack from um, Audrey Roloff's shop, shop always more, um, and yeah, I really like it. This is the maroon dad hat, and I've really been enjoying wearing it. And I love sort of everything that her shop stands for. So yes, I'm going to just enjoy it. Start with my book. And yeah.
Salmon's having fun. I've just had a nap. I'll probably come in after lunch. Oh, I'm just waking up for my nap. <laughs> there is a very small alligator sunning himself. If it will focus. It looks only a small one from what I can see. Let's have a look. Mm. Yeah, it's not a huge one. Come on. This looks quite good. I might get this one. Once I look around. Can I just leave? How pretty these are. I think with 101 damage, it's super cute. These are all children's classics. The best teen section ever. We have to call it teen and a young adult. All that pink girls. Super, super cool. We have seen so much wall, Mum. I like how they do this so they can they can see it. Free classes Monday night. That's nice for if to make a blanket for our living room. You should look and see if I have looked, and but they don't. Look. Well, not really. Oh, let's yeah. see. This is this. Oh, that's a pretty colour. You could come up here. They do do that. that. They do do that at home. That sort of. Yeah. You're looking kind of different, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, look, pets. Look, Shunky. Mum. Can you imagine Toby and Oscar in one of those? Mm. You don't need to these Look how big these are. These. I like these with the coloured tips. 14 inches, which is what size in the UK? Inches? 35.5 yeah. centimetres. I do like my looks. Yeah, that's quite nice. What's wrong with this? Little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah. feel how awful. Scrubby cotton, oh, it's yeah, called. It like it's grass. called scrubby cotton. Yeah, but. See, I. Oh. Feel how rough that is. This is a soft, nice and soft. I've got much of it. Is it. Can you just do one to make a blanket? I would have thought not. I don't know. That's the thing, if you... I know, I don't think it's hard to come. Oh no, I'd have to knit it here, wouldn't I? It doesn't say how much you need. I got at Books A Million. Um, we renewed our like 
membership to them so you get a discount straight away with that um, and they send you loads of coupons and books are always they always seem a lot but when you include the, the coupons in with them it works out better than actually buying them in the UK um, so yes I did film a little bit whilst we were there which you saw um, the signed book section is my favourite aisle to go down and they had a ton there like I feel they've really upped their signed books like variety and like sometimes there'll be about three or four of that book signed so I'll show you what I got um it's a mixture of signed non-signed and there's one children's book so the first one is one of the first that I picked up and I did mention that I might get it and that's The Orphan's Tale this is by Pam Genoff and it's about a girl I believe that um is impregnated by a Nazi soldier and she's made to get the baby up and um she's like working in a train station um cleaning and she sees a truck full of kids being sent to a concentration camp and she decides to steal one of the kids um to maybe try and give it a better life um well, obviously it's gonna have a better life but to try and um well yeah give it a better future so that's that one the next book i got i will start with like fictional um, this is called The Cellar. This really intrigued me. Um, it's from what I gather about a girl that gets kidnapped with a couple other girls um, and imprisoned in a cellar. Um, this is very reminiscent of there was those three girls that were kept in the cellar. Um, if you've read uh, Room, I'm assuming it's like on a similar premise to that. Um, there's a few different um, books that this author's done. Um, but that was just really intriguing to me. And then this one, oh, I need swap arms. This one I've had on my radar for a while now and just haven't had the chance to pick it up in store. And that's all we have left by Wendy Mills. Oh, I forgot to say, the seller is by Natasha Preston. So yeah, um, all we have left by Wendy Mills. This is about, um, is based around 9-11 and um, about a girl who's brother I believe dies um okay maybe not maybe I'm getting confused with another synopsis I read but it does evolve around 9-11 and um like a teenage girl being wrapped up in that day's events and how she's dealing with it now um and this artwork is so pretty as well so I got that and then I got two sort of autobiographies the first one is um, one that I wasn't ever thinking of picking up until I saw it, it was a signed copy. And that is Ian Harding's Odd Birds. And this is obviously he plays Fitz, uh, Mr. Fitz in um, Pretty Little Liars, which I'm a big fan of and I really like him and his character. Um, and it's sort of about, I believe, about him dealing with becoming like a celebrity. Um, and it is a signed edition is quite the flourish um yeah and just him being thrown into like the tv career and that sort of thing so i picked that up and the other one i picked up was called space burn by mike Massim massimino i think he's actually been on the big bang theory i think that's where i recognize him from he's an american astronaut um and it's just about his journey in space um, it says it follows um, what it's like for him being an astronaut um, and like with the Hubble telescope and losing um, friends in one of the Apollo missions um, and yeah, I just thought it would be really interesting I'm really into space Tara and I are going to go to the Kennedy Space Center next week um so yeah i just thought it was really really cool um and again it's a signed copy so that's pretty cool i will just show you his so that's his in there and then the last book was totally off the cuff it was sort of on an end rail and i just like spot it out gone on my eye and as soon as i show you the front of this you'll know why i got it it is a children's book which i've never been one to pick up like like I've picked up middle grade books um, that I'll personally enjoy, but never like like kiddie books that I'm gonna I could read in two seconds and like 
for saving for future generations I've not done that except for books like that I've previously had when I was a child but this just caught my attention and I couldn't say no this is called The Kissing Hand and this is by Audrey Penn um, illustrated by Ruth E Harper and Nancy M Leek and it's dragoons I could not say no um, and this is a really sweet story about um, I believe this is like the first um in sort of the kissing hand series and this is about a raccoon that's going to school for the first time and he's really nervous and it's about like his mum trying to help him overcome those nerves um and there's a few other ones on the back i did try and look out for them um i did see one but i think these are really cute not only do i love the illustrations in them i just thought they've got really sweet little meanings to them so and like good sort of life story things and like this one even comes with stickers on the back um, so you can really implement the kissing hand sort of um, not ethos but um, like little I don't know what, <laughs> how you'd call it but like that sort of um, regimen whilst they're going to school um, so yeah and then these are sort of the other books so there's a pocket full of kisses, a kiss goodbye, big bad bully, so it's all sort of like those um, like good life events, helping children get through things. Um, yeah, and I think this has become like specific reading, like um, it was published in 1993 and now it um, is widely used by kindergarten teachers on the first day of school so it's it's very popular by teachers and things like that so those are the books I got I will probably do like a end of month or end of holiday wrap up of the books that I read um, but yeah so as you saw we've just had a Chinese um, a bit later we're gonna go out to like a bar that's near us and do karaoke I won't be but um, I'll certainly film the others doing it and uh, yeah so if i don't sign off later then i will say good night now um and enjoy those karaoke clips because i know there's definitely gonna be a few so yeah i will see you soon bye guys and so with the pre and so with the promotional savings we had 25 percent off 100 so we got 25 dollars off and then um the discount card i got nine dollars off so that was pretty cool over a $30 saving.